Hey there, I'm Johnson Skovich. It's super sunny right now, and my pigs are in the bushes. Let's talk about it. Let's look at the 10,000 foot view, literally, and then let's look at the granular, what they're doing right now, and then my thoughts going forward. So, looking at my pasture, Going in Google Maps and looking back in time, the pasture that's behind me was all grassland. It used to be an organic dairy, and at one point in time, all of this was clear. The land had gone fallow for a number of years, and I've been slowly reclaiming it as I've had time, materials, and labor to do so. And now, so a lot of my labor is pig-based. <laughs> so I have my pigs going through the scrub area, and it turns out I just love having it scrubbed. I kept this middle strip, which I had called the wild strip for a while, um, because it has wildflowers in it, it had bushes, there was habitat for birds, deer could come in, and I don't have crops that suffer from deer damage that much, so it was really good to have uh, in the middle of the pasture there. Now, I have the pigs in there, they're out of the hop yard, they've done their job, they're in these scrubs and bushes, and they're doing a great job. I mean, they're clearing out the understory, I can see kind of what's going on, get a better idea. If I wanted to take some of that out, I know what I'm going into now, uh, just because the pigs are going through and chewing and doing what pigs do. Uh, and it being brushy, lower understory, it's not like big rooted trees. Uh, they have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to play with. They're really enjoying it. So what I'm thinking going forward is that this wild strip, I'm going to clean it up a little bit and make it easier because my fencing is standardized. I have standard lengths of fence. And to make my life easier as a farm manager, I want to standardize parts of my farm so it's easy to put fencing up. If I have one area that's a little too small, one area that's a little too big, you add in variables. And if I want to train somebody else in to do it that doesn't have the critical thinking skills that I might have at this point, um, you know, it'd be tougher. So standardizing this center strip where I'm thinking about cleaning it up and bringing the edges so that's more straight line and having it so my infrastructure moves easily through that wild strip and then this becomes the pig area of the farm. And year to year I assess, you know, what I'm gonna do with it, how that pigs have impacted it, how long I've kept them in there, how well they're doing. Then you adjust. That's why it's hard to create some of these how-to videos is because I'm looking at my farm not always in the day-to-day -day picture, but the five and ten years out. What do I want to see this become in the future? So for right now, this wild strip in my north pasture is really, really good pig habitat. They have shade during the day, they have feed, and I want to keep that going. It also, all the water concentrates there, and there used to be a seasonal stream that runs through it that kind of silted in, which I might dig out. You know, that's part of the holistic land management plan that I'm working on. And um, having a wet area for the pigs that has a dry area right above it, I can run the pigs through and they'll have a wallow that it doesn't matter if they chew it up and beat the snot out of it, uh, and a dry area so they're not always completely in the wet. Depends on if it's a wet year or a dry year. So pigs in the scrub was a really good move. I'm fortunate that I have that on my land. A lot of people manage pigs in the woods. Uh, this is my version of the woods, except you know instead of 30, 40 feet tall, they're 15 feet tall, you know, eight feet tall. <clears throat> we'll see what happens going forward. The pigs are huge at this point. They're about 200 pounds. I've been moving them a little bit quicker because they cause a little bit more damage quicker because they're just larger. You know, a, a 20 pound pig versus a 200 pound pig is a night and day difference on management and, uh, you know, land impact. And you just take all of that in, into consideration. Now, the, for managing my land and my property, I recommend the Holistic Management book by Alan Savory. It's a Bible here on Farm. He has uh, not only the book, but a workbook as well. I have those listed on the Farm Marketing Solutions store. If you go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash store, all, not all of, but a lot of my favorite books are listed there. There's Amazon links, so you can buy them directly. I'll have links in the comments area description for this video. Uh, that's it. Any questions on pigs, land management, happy to answer that. Comment section below. Until next time, see you guys out in the field. Or the scrub. It's good. The pigs are happy. Look at the pigs. <laughs>